hey, we are here, PKFC 63. And I found Kai Stewart, as I do at every goddamn event. He fights all the fucking time, but when he's not fighting, he's at all the damn events. And I love that about you. I love that about you. You had to make it out here. What's going on, dude? Yeah, first time uh, enjoying Sturgis. I, I'm a hop, skip, and a jump away uh, there in Montana. We have Montanans on the card. Shout out Defiant, Bryant, Atchison, Ruben, Roundstone, Timmy Mason, all going to bring back dubs for the 406. As for Sturgis, what a wild show so far, even though we are at day one. It's hot as hell out here, but what's going to be even hotter is those fights tomorrow night. So I can't wait. Tomorrow night, the heat index is supposed to be 104 tomorrow night. I know you're going to be up here tearing shit up. Uh, you just named a few. I want to ask you, I, like I always do, main event tomorrow night, Taylor Starling, Britton Hart, what does King Kai Stewart have for a prediction in the main event? I think we got Taylor Starling gonna gonna dog walk Britton Hart. She uh, she's there's just a different fire behind her. I think she's gonna come out stinging, and uh, yeah, Britton Hart. She she's a solid fighter, but I, I just think Taylor Starling's gonna get it done. Uh, I, I feel like there needs to be change at the top of some of these weight divisions. Change is never coming to the 145 pound division. Don't worry about that. But these other divisions, I think, need to figure themselves out, and I think Taylor Starling's gonna get it done tomorrow night. I love that, dude. You mentioned a few of the Montana fighters on the card tomorrow night. Brian Atchison, I'm 205 pounds. I'm 5'9", 205 pounds. How the fuck is that guy 205 pounds? Can you explain biology to me, please? Yeah, so he's a big dude. <laughs> I thought he was heavyweight for the longest time. I've trained with him. I, I've, I've been at his gym. What a stand-up guy. He's had a, one hell of a layoff. He actually fought his debut, knocked Josh, Josh Watson out on my debut card here in Montana. Uh, but... He's going to get it done tomorrow night. He's going to get it done in amazing fashion, and I, I hope that we bring more gold to Montana in the coming months. All right, let's talk about Sturgis for a second here. You are here. Is this your first trip to Bike, bike Week? Yeah, first trip out here. It, it's crazy. It's not so far, and people are just trickling in. It's been constant. People have been coming and coming and coming and coming, and I, I can't wait to see this place absolutely packed tomorrow for this bare knuckle fight because bare knuckle deserves it. We deserve this shit. Besides bare knuckle fighting, what do you want to see the most here at Sturgis? Oh, wow, it's so hard because I love the violence bare knuckle brings. But, you know, it, the bike, the biker culture is definitely something that I've never really been around. So I'm super excited to, to learn, have fun, maybe try to find a moped to go meet meep around on. <laughs> but until then, maybe we'll rent a, a golf cart or something. We're going to have some fun. We're, we're gonna, this is my last little party weekend that we're going to walk back in. Um, and get ready to fight because I think something's coming soon. So that brings me to my final thing with you. We, you are the king of the 145 pound division. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy Rivera jumped in the, in the ring your last fight, had a face off with you. There's Brandon Allen out there. We, we just heard about James Brown versus HD Davis. Your division's on fire. It's one of the best divisions in the BKFC. Yeah. Um, what is on the horizon for you? When are we gonna see you back in there? Well, here's the thing. Whenever you're the best fighter in the best division in bare knuckle, you, the, it goes to say I, I really am the king of bare knuckle now, um, and, and I'm just going to continue to grow, continue to fight. I just want to keep learning how to box. I just it, tip of the iceberg. I just started to learn how to box. All the rest of the fights is like I'll just clinch them. But now I got to get better, and we saw that in my last fight. So honestly, any style, any form, I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to take this to the next level. I am different. I've told everybody for a long time, and I, I think people realize that I'm different now. And uh, so yeah, line them up. Jimmy Rivera is going to go to sleep, uh, and then hopefully I can get winner of uh, Soto versus Teneglia. I think I dog walk Soto. Teneglia is just big. I thought James Lilly won the fight, so I, I, th I think I'm next in line for that title as well because you know the king does what the fuck he wants. So that is the plan. So, without revealing any news here, the plan is Jimmy Rivera next move to 155 after that. Yeah, because I've cleaned out the division. You know, the HD fight versus Brown. I think HD, if he wins, he needs one more. I think Brown, he needs one more. Brandon Allen should fight winner of that. They can figure themselves out. I can go win another belt because I, I'm just I'm that guy in bare knuckle right now. And I say that respectfully because I love the sport. I love the people that came before me. I'm gonna be fans of a lot of people that are gonna come after me. But right now and for the foreseeable future, I am the king, and I I do mean that. And the king, as king, I'm here to run this shit. Okay, this is the last thing. There's a new co-owner of the company who took the MMA world by storm. 
ran through everybody like he said he was going to do. You've been saying it. Everyone doubts you every time. you got a lot of similarities to this man. He's going to be in the building tomorrow night. Are we going to see the, the wrestler with the mustache kid with Connor at Sturgis tomorrow night? We're, yeah, and I, I do believe that I have all the qualities of to be a, su a superstar. Like, I grew up saying I want to be like Conor McGregor, and a after I'm done with my BKFC and fight career, people are going to say, I, damn, I want to be like Kai Stewart. And, I th and it's because I, I, I respect Conor so much. I, I, I grew up watching him. This is seriously a dream come true, and uh, I, th I think he's going to um, appreciate what I bring to the table, and, and we're going to have a fun time. The man himself, King Kai Stewart, undefeated, Undisputed champion in the 145 pound event. I can't keep my eyes. I can't take my eyes off this fucking mustache the entire goddamn interview. I gotta tell you, thank you for your time as always. I'll see you tomorrow night, buddy. See you later, buddy. Thank you, dude.